Welcome back. They became, a, they became a hit back in the 60s with hippies and are still a popular accessory today. Jennifer Ackerman Haywood is the Grand Rapids Press craft expert and she also shares her knowledge on our website, on her website, Craft Sanity. She's here to show us how to make some hemp necklaces. Thanks so much for being here. Now, I used to make these when I was like a teenager. Yeah. And it's great that they're still in style. Yeah, and this is actually um, a simplified take on the hemp necklace because a lot of times hemp necklaces are very thick yeah, I used and to wear scratchy. The thick one. Yeah, of. it was kind of scratchy. I used to have to like wa I had to waterlog it for a while so that when it dried out, it wouldn't scratch well, this my neck. One, but these ones, you won't don't. have to water. Yeah, this is basically this is what a finished necklace looks like, and they're basically just with supplies from the craft store, very okay. inexpensive, under ten dollars. Um, you just need to start with a ball of hemp. Okay. Um, and this costs... Any particular kind? Um, no, just hemp nope. cord okay. and um, about $5 for the whole ball. And then you can have everyone on your block making these for that. Awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And then the first thing I do is you want to get a focal um, bead or just a, a bigger bead. This is like a shell. It looks like a flower. Okay. And then I just tie a knot and just kind of secure it. Very, you know, just very simple. Knot. Okay. Just a knot. What I've done, I've strung some other beads in here to speed things along. But so I, you know, just kind of do a little double knot here. Okay. And then um, what I'll do is I usually put some little beads there. And this just is just string them right on. Just string, there, just string them right them on. Down. Push them down and tie another knot. So basically, what you're going to do, if you can tie a knot, this is so, I mean, very, very basic. It's That's just why a I was bunch able of, to make these when uh, I was really <laughs> tie knots. Oh, you're craftier than you think. You just have yeah. to get out there and try it. Yeah, just bit. practice it up. Um, yeah, so you're just tying knots okay. and continuing. And I kind of have things in process here. So what you do is you want to just make sure um, there's no um, measurement between, you know, so this is kind of where you're at when you start. Okay. Um, and then you can tie another knot here if you want those to go together or you can keep building off to the side. You can, you know, and this one I didn't, I just kind of went off, you know, just kind of keep going. And then you, what you want to do is make sure that your beads are lined up on each side. Okay. That's the, the one, so it looks kind of symmetrical. Okay. Um, and then when you get up to the top, you just keep doing this, keep building and adding beads. And then um, the closures are only um, less than, I think they're like $1.50, these little closures here. Okay. And it's very simple class. because the cool part about this is you don't need, again, you don't need any tools. You just keep tying knots. So um, this one... Um, let me skip this up here. I like these because you can use whatever kind of beads that you want. And, exactly. And I made these as ankle bracelets and bracelets too. Like you can make them whatever kind of measurement that any, you want. Yeah, anything, any measurement you want. And, um, you know, you just knot, I just knot the closure on too. And you just want to make sure it's even. That's a big thing is you just want to lay things out and make sure you're even on both sides. So if you know how to knot, you can make these. You know how to knot and you can, you know. I love the simplest. You have an idea of what symmetry is all about. Okay. <laughs> You're all set. And so, you know, you just knot it in place just with a knot. I usually do a double knot. And then, um, as you can see on this side, I've continued to make knots. Okay. And so it's just kind of secure. And then you can put a dab of glue on that. And it's very simple. You know, you just keep knotting. Okay. So basically, the, I guess the key today is knotting. Just okay. If you don't remember nice. anything else, just now. I want to be nuts. sure we get to these really yes, cool beads definitely. over here. We only have a couple minutes yes. that are um, left. But. And this is um, my craft column this week is about on Sunday is about a Stephen Wheeler, a Rockford glass blower okay. who is fantastically talented. I met him over the summer. So I can see that these are beautiful. Yeah, and, and the cool part about this these. is if you don't want to tie a bunch of knots, all you need is some cool ribbon, or some leather cord. Um, or nylon cord, anything. I mean, these things can rock a necklace. You don't oh have to have gosh, any. They're beautiful. Leave it to Steven to. <laughs> Leave it to Steven. Let Steven do his thing and just put it on a necklace and you're, you're all set. And those awesome. um, 20 to um, about $60 for those okay. beads. And well, they're, they're beautiful. Fantastic. They're pendants, actually. Okay. I, you know, so, yeah, he does a great job. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here. We really yeah. appreciate it. You can find more information on our website at WZZM13.com. Just go ahead and click on the Take Five links. Now, when we come back, we'll introduce you to a woman who's showing the world why monster trucks aren't just for boys. Stay with us, please.